So there's lots of things you can do with what was once your garbage. I'm Tracy Stetter for Discovery Channel, and today we're in New Bedford, Massachusetts, visiting ZGen, and they're taking all this construction waste and turning it into energy. Tracy Stetter and I, that's me, paid a visit to ZGen. They've created a year-long demonstration facility where they're producing synthesis gas, which is made up of carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas, all using construction debris. There you go. It's a process called gasification. Wait, is that right? gasification, yes. big word. Yes. <laughs> what does it mean? Well, what we're doing is we're taking waste products that would have ended up in a landfill. Mm -hmm. So your garbage, construction debris, and we're gasifying that material. What happens is all the materials dissociate into their elements, actually, and they reform as gas. Uh -huh. Organic materials like wood and tires get sorted out in this facility and then are put in furnaces where they're gasified. 2635, that's the temperature of the bath right now. 2635 degrees, that's it. The furnace doesn't care much what you throw into it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually a big metal molten pot of iron. And if you throw metal in there, the metal will just melt. Wow. If you throw organic material in there, it'll gasify. Step one is the material will come in and get weighed on a scale, mm -hmm. goes in the building, gets dumped on the floor, gets loaded into a few lines, we get sorted, we get a little bit of pre-grinding, it goes up to a picking room where we pull out the uh, usable products and then everything goes back through another high-speed grinder. Can you sort of talk <clears> about <throat> the stages of, of the gasification yep. and what we're going to see? We source separate the materials that come in the plant, we pull out the metals, we pull out the cardboard, we pull out concrete, brick, aggregate, and wood. Everything else gets ground up and it's a waste product. ZGen wants to capture that waste product, the energy value that's in it, and make synthetic natural gas with it. Syngas doesn't add any new CO2 emissions into the atmosphere because the gas created comes from organic materials. Since this is only a demonstration facility, no one is currently using the gas they're making, but Felt says ZGen hopes to be fully up and running in a year or two. Eventually, they want to be able to tap into the grid and provide renewable energy or offset natural gas consumption. For Discovery Channel, I'm Casey D. Gardner.